Auditorium, Rochelle March Guan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rochelle March Guan. I'm 17 years old, originally from Metro Manila, Philippines, and it is with great honor that I stand before you today as my class's salutatorian. It is unfortunate that this year's ceremony is being conducted virtually, but we must soldier on. This is, of course, not how any of us imagined our high school experience to end. After about 13 years of hard work and patience, our time at Tulu High School has come abruptly and uncertainly to a close. Many of us mark our journey through life counting our successes. For example, take tonight's graduation from high school. All of us here have succeeded in mastering a challenging course of study, and we are now prepared to enter the adult world as full-pledged members. Others will mark their journey through life by highlighting their failures, recalling that wonderful college they did not get into or that special friend they lost. I'm not sure who is right, the counter of successes or the recorder of failures. However, what I do firmly believe is that we need to share it with someone, along with our laughter and our tears. My life in America began with a series of rapid transitions. Many of these changes were quite bumpy and often I felt hurt inside. Upon leaving the Philippines in second grade, about a decade ago, I started third grade at Crown Point Elementary School, knowing very little English. Very often, I felt lost trying to master a new language, socially awkward trying to make new friends from so many diverse cultures, and emotionally exhausted trying to make sense of so many confusing experiences. Then after this chaos of experience throughout elementary and middle school, my bumpy ride through life continued. Like you, I entered the far more demanding world of high school. If I had complained about the difficulties of elementary and middle school, those problems were nothing compared with the academic challenges of high school. How many of us had to make similar adjustments or even face more traumatic transitions? Nonetheless, what made all my days endurable were my family and friends. I want now to thank my parents, Marvin and Rowena Luan, who despite coming home exhausted from work, would take time to listen to my problems and soothe my anxiety. Next, I want to thank everyone who has been a friend, especially my wonderful teachers, professors, and coaches throughout high school that has also served as a mentor to me, as well as so many of you who accepted me for who I was and what I could contribute, not judging me from where I came from. Life always seemed more tolerable when you were there and sympathetically listened to my complaints to gently advise me when I was about to make a huge mistake and to patiently allow me to celebrate a moment of triumph. So to all of you, I give my heartfelt thanks. Before I close off, I would like to say that it's important to remember that for every event, for every problem, for every solution in this world, there are people behind it. People who sat in chairs, sitting in caps and gowns, awaiting a diploma just as each and every one of you are. We have all been given the opportunity to invent or to create or to solve, but most importantly, we have all been given the opportunity to succeed. It is up to you to decide what you choose to do with this ability, keeping in mind that success does not mean being the best or winning at everything. It means working hard to reach your aspirations. It means doing what makes you happy. I know if every one of you have it in you, because if you didn't, you wouldn't be here today. I mean, we did survive the end of the world. If we can do that, we can do anything. So, as this chapter in our life comes to a close, it is with great certainty that the journey of head of bars is for the taking. Here's for our amazing bright features. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it.